Hi everyone, this is uh, going to be a test between uh, two batteries on the Saima X5C quadcopter. So um, what we're going to be doing today is testing the battery life on the normal battery that comes with it. This is the standard battery and um, the other battery which is supposed to be an upgrade which you can get from places like Banggood. Um, the only difference you can see between them is um, the standard one that comes with it is 500 milliamps and uh, the so-called upgraded one is 600 milliamps. Now um, I've not, um, th there's another battery available as well, the Turnergy one which I'll be testing in another video but for now we're just going to test the standard battery that comes with it, the stock battery and the um, upgraded battery that's 600 milliamps and um, that's available at various sites. So, uh, what we're going to do is give them a flight and run them to their maximum battery limit and see how long you get. So this is the first standard one, 500 milliamps, and uh, that's the battery that comes with every quadcopter in the box. So we'll see how this one, how long this one lasts. Actually goes into both of these batteries fully charged to the maximum capacity. So it's a fair test, and uh, there we go. It's a little bit windy, so we're not going to take it too high. Oh, well. So this is a test with the um, standard battery now. I'm not sure what the times will be at the moment, so what I'll do is, if you look down here on the video, and um, we'll put the times of how long each battery lasts at the end of each flight. So we'll start, we'll start from the minute that the quadcopter takes off. So I'll just sync this up. Okay, and start timing now. end of it that uh see that's no less movement that just the wind point.
Winds really got over huh? that. Oh right there, come this way. And it's fighting against the wind. So I'll keep it close while the wind's this bad. Yeah, we'll keep it close because the wind's a bit bad up there and um, if you've ever flown one of these things in the wind you'll know it's really stable. On a nice calm day but they get a bit unstable in the wind and it can easily take them away. See, without any forward direction, look at that. And then go to pull it back. Bit of a fart. Battery's still going strong. I think we're roughly about four minutes in. Um, I'll put the right time in a, a caption on the video now so you'll be able to see just how long this battery lasts from the full charge. It's still going strong. But um, I'll keep it close now. One, because of the wind and two, because we're running it to near dead of the battery. So we don't want to be running into loads of fields looking for it. We want it to drop somewhere nearby if it does. Which it probably will be doing if we're testing it till its capacity. So this is the standard battery that comes with the Sima X5C and um, you can see the, um, the time on the on the video now how long this battery lasts and uh, we're going to test next the um, upgraded battery which is um, 600 milliamps instead of 500 milliamps you get the more the wind gets carried away. Give it a little flip. Oh, and that took that flip took its sail in a way. Been going for a good few minutes now with a standard battery. Time that you can see on the screen. And it's still going strong. Oh, losing it a little bit possibly. I might have just dropped down a little bit on the throttle then. And that's it, that's the battery on that one. So um, the time on the screen is showing now how long the um, battery on the standard, using a standard battery took. And um, now we're going to go ahead and test the, um, the upgraded battery. Do you want a quick rest? We'll go straight on to it in this video, but we're just going to have a quick pause. But um, to see the, um, how the 
upgraded battery for farms coming up now. Yeah, I'm just press the tap button now. Yeah, no, that one. Okay, so in uh, the last segment, we tested the standard 500 milliamp battery that comes with the Sima X5C quadcopter. Now, what we're going to do now is go ahead and test the upgraded battery, which is 600 milliamps, available at a few places such as Banggood.com and uh, other places. Um, it is worth mentioning that there is a um, another version of the battery for the Sima X5C quadcopter, and that's the Eternity battery and um, we'll be testing that one out in another video, I'm just waiting for one of them to arrive so um, we'll get this um, synced up, powered up and as with the one before we'll um, we'll show on the video how long this one compared to the other one so um, put that on there get this synced up and as soon as we take off we'll, take, we'll time the thing from there and we'll put it on the bottom of the screen and get a good comparison of how the batteries uh, compare against each other so switch on the remote switch on the quadcopter ready to sync synced up and it's very windy so we're not going to take it far but um, as it's basically just a test to see which battery has the most capacity they're both new batteries both charged to the max and um, let's see how this one compares Wind's getting at it a bit now. Whoops. Nearly lost it then to the ground. Yeah, the wind's got it a little bit here, so keep it pretty close. It's proper windy evening. Handle that all right.
Three minutes in there, aren't we? Yeah. How many minutes do you think? Five and a half minutes. Do you think? It is. Oh, I don't think it's that. I don't know the timer on that's a bit different. From the start of record? Yeah. Yeah. We'll have the um, proper time showing on the video now, so... And then at the end we'll have the comparison, you can see um, see which one has got the, the most life. This one seems to be doing quite well at the moment. We'll, um, we'll be getting close to, close to the capacity soon, so I'll keep it pretty close. Be getting close now. Keep it close now because we've got to be getting close to that. And there it is. So that's um. You didn't stop, did you? No, of course. <laughs> so that's um. We've, we'll have the times on now. That's the test with the upgraded 600 milliamp battery so um, what we'll see at the end of the video is we'll see which one well you'll, you'll have worked that out anyway because it'll be on the video so um, I hope this helped and um, have fun with your quad copters.